Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Stacy, and I'm here with Storytime. I'm at the library today, and I'm using a different device today. I'm using my laptop, so I can't even really see myself or your comments, but go ahead and comment anyway if you can. Um, it's it's weird being here today because I'm used to being at home and having know where everything is, and I thought I brought everything with me, and I didn't. <laughs> so our nursery rhymes today are going to be from this book instead of my cards. So maybe we'll have a few new ones today that you haven't heard before. And parents, it's good to for your kids to know um, at least five nursery rhymes by the time they're five or six. If they have them memorized, it helps them with reading to have that that rhyming in their head. They understand what rhymes are when they hear about them in school um, and knowing the words, it's really good for them. So let's see what we have. Oh, we have, who's this little guy here? Down here we have Humpty Dumpty. Let's start with Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And the one over here on the next page is another one we've done a lot. You see the cow? What's the cow doing? What's the cow jumping over right here? It's very tiny is the moon. So which one is that? Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with a spoon. That would be interesting, don't you think? Let's see what else we have in this book. Oh, here's our fate, one of our favorites. Who's this little guy down here? That is a sheep. And what color is that sheep? That is a black sheep. Hi, Juliana. I'm so glad you love your crafts. We miss you. I miss you too. All right. So let's do Baba Black Sheep. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Go turn my phone on silent. I'm not used to having it on. It's beeping over here at me. There we go. All right, so that was Baba Black Sheep. Hmm. What else do we have? Can you think of any? Oh, here's one that we have never done, but I remember it from when I was little. It's called Mary, Mary, Quite Contrary. Mary, Mary, Quite Contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. And those are types of flowers. Um, hey, how about this one? You see that? Who's this little guy and what's this? That is the mouse that ran up the clock. Do you remember what it starts with, how it starts? Hickory, dickory, dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one and down he run. Hickory, dickory, dock. That's a different way to rhyme that. All right. Yes, Amanda, there is crafts for preschool age for this story time. Um, you can call the library and afterwards and make arrangements to pick them up. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's one. I love that I can see some comments. All right. What do we see here? You see this girl? Oh, look, there's a couple on this page. That's Jack and Jill going up a hill to the well. And then this is Little Miss Muffet. Let's do both of those. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. <clears throat> Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Let's see. All right, how about this one's called Diddle Diddle Dumpling. You've not heard this one before, so I'm gonna say it once and then we'll say it again together, okay? Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John. 
went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and one shoe on, diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. Okay, what are trousers? That's a big word. Have you ever heard it before? Trousers are pants. So he went to bed with his pants on and one shoe. Do you ever go to bed like that on purpose? Probably not, but you might fall asleep like that accidentally on the couch or something. So let's do it together again. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John, went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. That's silly. All right, let's do our grand grandma's glasses. Can you make your fingers like this? Tight. So can you pinch them and make circles? All right. These are grandma's glasses. And this is grandma's hat. And this is the way she folds her hands in her lap. These are grandpa's glasses. And this is grandpa's hat. And this is the way he folds his arms and takes a nap. Ooh, Grandpa. We all need a nap, don't we? All right. If, look, I found my cards under my book. I knew I had them. There they are. That's okay. We learned some new ones today. Oh, Miss Stacy, that brain of yours. All right. So before we begin with our book, I'm going to show you the next story hike book. We're doing the little snow plow. Um, I'm not sure of the dates. I'm hoping maybe this Friday we'll have it up, but I will let you know. Watch our Facebook page for an announcement. I haven't, um, I just got the books this morning to, to laminate. So it's going to be a quick turnaround if I do it Friday. I'm hoping to have it done. We'll see. If not, it'll be next week. All right, so that's the big announcement, and I will have crafts for that as well to pick up later. Um, let's see, today's book. Now, I know we've already had our first snow, but I was going with the snow theme, winter theme for January, and I thought that I'd read this about the first snow. I think our first snow this year was in November. And then we had some in December. And did anybody make a snowman? We didn't make one at our house. Not this year. We haven't waited one for a long time. We had one one year when my girls were little. It had two heads, one here and one here. I have to find pictures of that. All right, here we go. Here is the first snow. Can you see that? It's hard with this this uh with using my laptop because I can't see I have a little tiny picture of me to see it is dark a winter night the moon is bright barely there behind a ha lazy haze of gray see how hazy it looks you know what hazy means kind of foggy unclear snow begins to fall let me see First, slowly, big flakes, softly falling, melting fast. Then, falling faster, swirling, blowing, twirling down to cover the meadow. If you've gone to the story hike, that is a meadow where we put it up. So you know what a meadow is. Sometimes they're bigger than that one. That's a small meadow, I think. <gasps> Look. Far below the cold white blanket, Bunny and his sisters and brothers nestle closer to their mother, keeping one another warm and dreaming of green grass on the meadow. And last month I posted pictures of tracks in the snow at the, um, at the story hike. They were deer. I didn't see any rabbit tracks, but I've seen some rabbits around. Bunny awakes from his nap slowly, softly creeps out of his warm lair. And we've heard that word lair before when I read bear books to you, he lives in a lair. Up pokes his small nose. Do bunny noses go like this? Yeah, they do. To sniff the air. It is cold for early winter. Hmm. Brothers and sisters follow bunny out into the cold first snow. Soon the whistling winds die down 
and it's quiet in the meadow. Look at that big giant moon. Curious bunnies always listening. Hop across the glistening meadow. Glistening, what a great word. Glistening is kind of like a shining word. It shines, the moon glistens on the snow. There's some pine trees. I like pine trees covered in snow. Seeing shadows on the meadow, bunnies hide to watch the nighttime. Who is that? Are those bunnies? They have bigger tails than bunnies. Let's see who they are. Bunnies see the hungry chipmunks snooping under the drooping tree limbs, scurrying to gather pine cones in the cold first snow. There, a gray wolf. Do you see him back there? He's right there on the prow. There, a barn owl right there, swooping down to search for dinner. Bunnies know to keep on hiding in the cold first snow. Because owls are predators and so are wolves. Predator is a big word. It means that they hunt for smaller animals. Soon there's moonlight on the meadow. Soon the houses glow with lamplight. Smoke and smells curl up and out of all the chimneys. I like the smell of wood smoke in the winter. It reminds me of Christmas. Children bundled up against the wind come out to play in the cold first snow. Can you see them? They're very tiny. What do you think they're gonna do? Oh, look at those bunnies. They're running and hopping against the snow. Now bunnies race across the meadow, leaving paw prints as they go. Hopping, stumbling, Rolling. Do you roll in the snow? Tumbling, playing in the cold first snow. <gasps> what did those kids make? That is a snowman. Bunnies stop to watch the children as they hurry home for cocoa, cheeks and noses all aglow. Watching them. Children leave a fat white snowman gleaming in the bright white moonlight, beaming at the bunnies in the cold first snow. All right, that's today's story. Again, if you need crafts, call the library and make arrangements to pick them up. I have them ready. Um, we have a snowman. We have a hat and gloves that goes with last week's story. The snowman goes with this week's story. And then there are some um, things to color and put together for our last book. Next week, we're doing The Mitten by Jan Brett, a lovely little story. I'm hoping that I have a camera that I can see myself and see the book a little bit better um, because I felt a little bit awkward reading like that, but that's okay. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, again, watch for announcements for the little snowplow to be out at the meadow at Sully Nature Park. I hope to see that you guys go there and then you can uh, email me to either get a craft or just to let me know that you were there. Let me know you were here by liking our, our story time live post. Um, you can comment and say hello and uh, I'll see you guys very soon.